Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be trying to put a belt on that power steering pump. If you all haven't seen the last video, when we installed the alternator, click back, watch that video, cause in that video, it shows how this belt snapped. 10 year old belt did not wanna stay on that power steering pump. So I have to, unfortunately, detensionize that alternator, take off that belt, and then figure out how that whole power steering pump works. There's no videos on YouTube of how to do it on these vehicles, which is a sign that it's not a fun time, but hopefully, I'll be able to figure it out. There's a bunch of videos of people doing them on Oldsmobiles, which is not the same, but almost the same. So we're gonna just dive in, at least loosen this alternator, get that belt off, or I gotta go back to work, and then uh, hopefully do that power steering pump belt. I'm hoping everything goes swimmingly, but my luck, nope. So this top nut here is a 15. Gotta loosen that. Bottom bolt here is a 13. Back bolt's a 13. Now they don't have to be off, they just gotta be loose. So they got some mobility. Call this number now for a free catalog on Rascal Electric Scooters from Electric Mobility. You have fun indoors or in the great outdoors on a Rascal. I called for a catalog that day and now look at, my wife calls me Rascal Ray. And then we loosen this tensioner bolt on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. All right. So now that that's off, I'll show you guys this trick again. Take the belt, get it over two of these fan blades, right? It's over two of them. And basically, you just hold it on the inside and as you spin the fan around, and it detaches just like that. Very simple. So meow, gonna jump in to hopefully figuring out how we have to pull this power steering pump off. Now this car did sit for 10 years, so the probability of this belt just being dry rotted and that's the real reason it squealed and broke is kind of high. All right, so we're back. Supposedly they're all 15 millimeter bolt. Behind this pulley here, where my finger is, is supposedly a nut. Ah. <laughs> I had to use my big girl strength. All right, so supposedly you loosen that one. And then there's two that you can get to from under the car. Let's see if my gut will fit under there. Oh, these nice stones, nice and cozy looking. I think it's this one. It's also a 15, supposedly. I love dropping ratchets on my face and all, but I need a wrench for those two. Supposedly you don't want to unloosen this one. This one's supposedly a 13. It's the two 15s that you want to loosen, so this thing will move. Maybe Pops will walk out. See me stuck under here? Come grab me a wrench. Wrench! I'm gonna go grab a wrench and then loosen this bolt, this bolt, and then supposedly this thing will move you late, hopefully. Ow! It hit me right in the face. I can't get to this one. I might have to get to it from the top. Couldn't get to this bottom one here. I broke that bottom bolt loose. That was a good time. Now we're gonna throw this belt over the fan, do the spinny trick. I moved it. Oh, it did move? All right, I can pull it tight. While I tighten that one. We were able to move the power steering pump. It moves inward. Just those three bolts. I was kind of stunned that that actually uh, went as it was supposed to. So Meow, Pops is grabbing a pry bar to make sure she's tight and then i'll tighten down a bolt or two and uh then go to that dreaded bottom one and then that's on that's easy and then after that throw on this alternator one which i've already done six times so that'll be easy and then we'll make sure this puppy don't <laughs> at us all right here pull it out I didn't need that hand anyway. So meow, it's just the other bolts and then uh, the alternator and then it should be squealless. Yeah, or it's garbage. So meow, I'm gonna tighten this bottom nut. He asked me if I had a short extension. No, I gotta swivel. All right, that's tight enough. Meow, we gotta go to the dreaded bolt underneath. All right, sorry you guys can't see too well on this one. I can't either. I'll show you guys in a second. I'll tell you what, freaking hate ranches. This belt squeals after this. We're gonna take this straight to the scrapyard. So you guys can see from down here, there's this bolt, 15 millimeter, and a 50 millimeter over here too. That's easier to get to from the top because the crank pulley doesn't let you get a wrench in here or a ratchet at all. Don't do this 13 here. That ain't gonna help you at all. Uh, and then there's behind the pulley, there's one of these holes on the top. I'll point it out in a second. I'm sure you guys already saw, but one of those holes on the top, there's a nut behind it, and that makes the power steering pump move towards the fan, basically, inward. And then put the belt on, then you can crank it out with uh, a pry bar or something. You tighten down the bolts and it'll stay there. Belt's pretty tight now. You don't want it to snap. It's tight enough. All right, so meow, we're gonna hop up there and throw on that alternator belt. Meow, we got our alternator belt. That over the fan. Get on there, missy. 
What is life for a Cadillac owner like me? Living out my backpack every night in a new place to sleep. This is now Cadillac owner. One's for the money, two for the Cadillac rookies. <sighs> no. It just fell in there again, didn't it? Did it hit the ground? No. Where did it go? Uh. <laughs> I have a question for the God. Why? Por que, Dios? Por que? The only reason that was so easy to get is because I've done that before. So meow, start tightening. That's good. Yeah. 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 Alright, meow, I need a 15 for that top bolt. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Not deep enough sock. Oh, that's tight. All right, give her a start, see what's up. And yes, I do have a 15 inch sub in there that will be put in, hopefully soon, Mike. I still gotta put the aftermarket radio in this glove compartment in that section and put that one back in after we get the right wires for it and make it a dummy stereo so it looks stuck. All right, let's see what happens. Should sound like quiet little bird. It is idling a little high. That's because it got to get up temperature. I haven't ran in a little bit. Besides to pull it here, and it was idling about that high. Sounds good. Well, that was a grand old time. So meow, the only thing left to do on this thing before it's officially on the road, besides getting the plates for it, putting on insurance, bleeding these back brakes. I don't know if I'll be doing that today, but that'll be done at some point in the near future here. If not today, probably over the weekend. Very nice, how much? We're back. Turned out to be a beautiful day. It was supposed to be a miserable day. Got my lovely assistant here, and hopefully we're gonna bleed these brakes. Uh, my father just left. We don't need his assistance though. Hopefully we can bleed these rear brakes without blowing a line or struggles. If not, whatever. And then we also have to go into the trunk here. Now, since Hannah's got smaller hands than me or my father, hopefully we're gonna run these subwoofer wires. This has to go up to the new radio, which is gonna be in the glove box and same with this blue wire and then we can ground it out somewhere in the body here to metal in theory and then run this positive up to the battery i'm going to start this up as you guys saw in the beginning of this video we fixed the power steering pump and the alternator so there's no more belt squeal it runs like it should <laughs> It did rain all morning, which is good until it's not. It's gonna be wet under there, not fun. I'm gonna be cracking the bleeders while Hannah's pushing on the brake pedal. She's a professional at that. She's done it once with the Jeep, so I almost trust her to do that right, almost. Don't get too ahead of yourself. The belt was squealing again. As you guys saw, it didn't do that the other day. So there's something silly going on, unless the power steering pump loosened a little bit. Let's try to do these wires before you start trying to fight me. I'm gonna try to feed a wire through this. Let me know if you see it or feel it. Just don't go too deep with it. Let me pull the seat away though. A little slit that you can stick the wire through. Did you get through? All right, stick that wire through. How'd you do that? You just poke through it? Mm -hmm. Nice. They're not useless. All right. That sucked. Then there's that blue wire. Yeah, that's under your leg there. That can be hidden nice. Is that it? All right. Whew. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, I have room. Try to knock out these brakes, babe. Grab them wrenches. There's a nice puddle. I'll definitely dip my legs into. Blaster. It looks like a 10 millimeter. I mean, they either just broke in there or it loosened. That one, same on the other side. I think I just cracked it loose. They look kind of new. This thing sat for 10 years, so it's obviously not that new, but new enough for me. I've been spraying blaster on them for the last few days to make sure they would go loosened like, and I didn't have to use too much force to get it loose. Oh yeah, it's loose. Pump, pump. Pump. Hold. Oh, I just saw something fly out up there. I'm kind of concerned. Okay. Pump it. All right, stop. I think we got another leak. Yeah. Here, press it one more time. All right, stop. Yeah. yeah. Here, hit it. Oh, yep. There it is. Yep. That's another leak. What the f I'm saying? Got to do it again right now. Oh, f oh, f oh, f 
it's further back, which is not good. All right, well, obviously that didn't go too well, but is what it is. It's what you get when you work on these old gems. At least three quarters of it's new, so now we just gotta do the last quarter of it to the back. Unfortunate that that line's bad, but not a big deal because when we originally bought the 40 inch brake line, it wasn't enough, so we resulted to the 60 inch. We still have the 40 inch one, so we could just plop it on, get another fitting or two, and have a good brake line all the way to the back almost. And then re-bleed them, probably find another leak somewhere else. I mean, technically right now, this is a great burnout vehicle because it only has front brakes. Hannah found a mouse in there. She named it Fred. He's been in there a while. Yeah, he's a little crusty. Sounds like a piece of cardboard. Bad day for this Cadillac. Maybe tomorrow we'll come back. Just look at it. Real right, 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 there. right. There's still a lot of room to work. <laughs> look at this. Look at that. Yes. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> you know, when I see a car like this, first thing I do is I say, would you look at this? You know what I mean? Yes. Oh, would you look at this? <laughs> yeah, well. Would you look at that? Yeah, the Just car, look at the it. The car is not perfect. Just look at it. And then it'll be better. Well, that means tomorrow we might be putting in that brake line, but we'll see when we get there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in next week's video.